Hey, what's going on? It's Jeff Newport from ChasingStrength.com. And in today's video, we're going to have a slight departure from our traditional kettlebell workouts theme. And we're going to discuss one of my private clients lost 10 pounds or four and a half kilos last week in the three things that he did that you can emulate too. Okay. So let me just throw out a, a quick caveat or a couple quick caveats here. I am not saying that if you follow these three things that you are going to lose exactly 10 pounds or four and a half kilos. You may lose 10, you may lose 11, you may lose 12, or you may lose five. Okay. These are just what he used to lose his specific number. Okay. Second caveat, my client is not morbidly obese. Okay. So it wasn't an easy lose for him per se. All right. So um, he falls into the overweight category from his BMI standards. Okay. But if you looked at him, you wouldn't go, oh, that dude's fat. Not at all. He's he's a, a muscular big dude. All right. And finally, I'm going to change his name just to respect his privacy. So for the sake of this video, we're going to call him Carl. All right. So let's get into this. The, the whole reason why I'm sharing what Carl has accomplished in this video is because if you're like so many others, you've probably tried this whole lose weight thing only to fail in the past. And if you're like many others, you've done it repeatedly. So let's face it. Failures and constant repeated failures tend to squash your hope. And sometimes it just, it just, it's like putting out a candle, right? Lick your fingers, put out the wick, right? And all hope is extinguished. And, you know, if you're feeling that way or pretty close to it, that it's impossible for you to start dropping body fat and get lean, healthy, and strong again. Well, that's the whole point of this video. I'm going to show you how Carl did it and how you can do something similar as well. All right. So quickly, let's cover the reasons that most people fail on diets. And that's one of three reasons. One, their diet is overly complicated. Two, their diet is overly restrictive. Or three, both one and two. Okay. So, so here's what Carl did. And he dropped from 245 pounds or 111 kilos to 235 pounds in the space of a week. Uh, don't ask me to convert that to European kilos, right? Or European speed, because I like to joke around. Uh, I don't know what 235 is now. But now now that I'm saying that, my subconscious is going to like go to town and, and tell you it's like 107 or something like that. I don't know. You can look it up. See, and I, and I said I wasn't going to do that. But all right, let's, let's dig a little deeper here. So a few things to note. First, Carl is like most of us. He's constantly navigating a high-stress lifestyle. For example, he's got three kiddos under the age of 12. He's a husband, right? Now, here's here's a fun one. He's also an elementary school principal. And that last part has made the last four years or so more stressful than he's ever experienced it, thanks to uh, our COVID-19 fiasco and the resulting fallout. So here's a few simple things that Carl did that you can start doing today as soon as you watch this video. Okay, so number one, Carl proactively includes what I call ass rooms. I probably shouldn't call them astrums. That sounds horrible. Uh, anyway, they're ASRMs, Active Stress Relief Measurements. Okay. So he he purposely finds activities to use. And I'll give you one specific one that he really enjoys and helps him out a lot that decreases stress levels. So Carl uses what's called uh, straw breathing. Okay. So I just happen to have this straw here. So he will lie on his back, put this straw in his mouth, pinch off his nose, and breathe in and out through the straw. In simplest of terms, this activates your parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for resting and digesting and balances out the sympathetic dominance, which most people, I said balances out, I, what I meant to say is it reduces the sympathetic dominance that most people in our states struggle with, okay? So they're constantly wound up because they're stressed out all the time. And so the straw breathing being, brings balance to your autonomic nervous system, which is made up of your sympathetic nervous system and your parasympathetic nervous system, okay? Now, interesting, this also reduces chronic inflammation, which in and of itself can speed up fat loss. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, this one is just crazy. So Carl cut back on his beer consumption, okay? Now, Carl loves beer. He may love beer too, all right? And you may, like Carl, use it as a stress reliever, cracking open a few cold ones each night after you come home from work, right? sit on the couch, grab the remote, hit one, two, three, or even a whole six pack. But now Carl has decided to actively limit his beer time, right? Air quotes, beer time to just once a week on the weekends 
when he's with his buds, right? Or when everybody socializes, okay? Now, here's what most people don't know is that beer increases your estrogen levels, which decrease testosterone production, right? We covered that in a previous video, so go check it out, which in turn increases not only stomach fat, but those lovely man boobs, which every guy aspires to have a nice set of when he's a teenager, right? So, right, that's obviously sarcasm. So the alcohol in beer is also metabolized as acetate, which is then burned for fuel or energy before carbohydrates and fat. So the reality is if you're drinking every night, you're never going to use the stored carbs in your body as fuel, and you're never going to use the stored fat in your body as fuel because your body's going to be trying to get rid of the poison that comes from the byproducts of drinking alcohol, okay? So the best part about cutting out beer, right, is this, it's not only free, but you actually save yourself a bunch of money, okay? So here's number three. Carl prioritized his protein intake. So he made, made sure that he is getting protein at each and every meal, and he's getting it first, and he's getting an adequate amount for his fat loss focus, okay? So protein, as you may or may not know, is the building block for muscle, okay? No protein, pretty challenging to build muscle, all right? Protein also suppresses your appetite, makes you feel less hungry, and it suppresses your cravings. So you're not foraging in the pantry late at night for something salty or sweet after dinner. So protein also increases your metabolism or your metabolic rate, the rate at which you burn calories each day. And that's because of what's known as the thermic effect of food. When you eat protein, your body actually spends 30% more calories, otherwise known as energy, to digest protein when compared to eating the same amount of carbs or fats, okay? So what we've done is we've got Carl using a very simple and manageable and measurable diet, or what I like to call supportive nutrition plan that has formed the backbone of him dropping those 10 pounds over the last week. And the best part is it fits with his family schedule, right? His family life, it isn't overly complicated. He doesn't have measuring cups or even measuring spoons. Um, he uses a nutrition plan that's found inside a program that I put together. It's called Kettlebell Maximorum. I call it the ultimate kettlebell program, right? And he even gets to eat all his favorite foods, which if you've ever dieted, you know that most diets forbid you eating any of your favorite foods, like the pizza that I ate on Saturday night with my family or the ice cream that I had afterwards. All right. So yeah, I use, I use a variation of this theme as well. Okay. So I mentioned the term diet. In our last video, I brought up the term supportive nutrition. Okay, I prefer to use supportive nutrition. And this is this concept of supportive nutrition is why Carl is doing so well. Okay. What was really fascinating to me is after I had this conversation, or while I was having this conversation with Carl, we do a, a weekly debrief, is he said he was actually shocked by how much weight he'd lost because one, he didn't feel like he'd lost that much. Two, He's noticeably more muscular across the shoulders, upper back, upper chest, arms, quads, and hips, but he didn't notice the fat loss, right? And three, the best part is that Carl said he was only hungry about one hour out of the entire week, which if you've ever been on a diet, that's really good, right? Only being hungry one hour out of 168 hours. So I hope that you decide to use these simple strategies that Carl's been using to lop off some of your unwanted and excess body fat. And when you do, just, you know, please come back, pop your results in the description below. And like I said, if you want a link to that diet, that diet plan or the supportive nutrition plan to be more accurate, it's found inside a program called Kettlebell Maximorum, and we'll leave the link in the description below. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, click the like button, leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you found it really helpful, pass it along to a friend who's struggling with the same issues, okay? And hopefully they'll like it. Leave a comment, right, in the comment section and even hit subscribe themselves. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I made or I enjoyed making it for you, all right? And I will see you next time, my friend. Until then, stay strong.